Greetings everyone and welcome to the S'mores Archive. These are just all my old videos that I took down that I am re-releasing with some slight edits here and there. I did these DHgate cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. No links to any of these items will be given since these videos were done ages ago anyways. Well, I hope you do get a kick out of my old content. Now hopefully this is going to be the first part in a two-part series that I have planned out for these shoes, which are obviously in the title. In a two-part series, in a two-part series, in a two-part series, in a two-part series. Let's go, 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 go,
there are too many colors. When I first seen these shoes and people were requesting to see these shoes, I initially said no, because I said to myself that I'm never gonna wear these. But the more I look at them, the more I go, you know what, I'll actually probably wear these because they're actually a really cool color scheme. Let's have a look at them and see what we can find out about these shoes. Once again, I'm referring to stock photos online to compare these. I do see some slight differences. The sole appears to be completely correct. That is the Air Max 1 sole. And that all looks correct. The red in there for the platforms is all correct. Then we get to the uppers. Now, we have a multi-layered design here of corduroy. You can see how the pink here sort of dips down into this very slim line pattern and then just emerges as a thicker sort of line. I'll put a photo here so you can see it but that definitely looks a little bit off. Now, especially with the green part of the upper here, we can see that it's very noticeable. You can notice the green corduroy, but in the photos online, you see less of this effect and then more of this effect as we get to here. Speaking of which, the Nike swoosh here, it seems to be of a dark blue, whereas it's supposed to be a very light blue. Pretty much that blue is supposed to be there. Also looks like it's a little bit crooked to the upper part of the shoe, as we've already discussed, the pull away tab there. That all looks very clean, very nice nice and the multiple levels of color and all that sort of stuff it's a washed yellow washed gray washed pink washed sort of ocean blue i guess and then a purple and you can see some of the upper bits of it just stick up here and there could be on the real deal i'm just not seeing it online but just thought i'd point that out quickly the nike swoosh there looks pretty correct and you can feel the texture of the corduroy also there. Sorry, moving back to here, all looks very good. That is the profile shot of the shoe there. And the tongue is from the Air Max 97, all feels quite cushiony, all that sort of stuff. Having a look around here, a little bit of a nick there. It's one piece, and then they've sort of had to put another piece there. I'll have to look at the original images and see what I can find on that, because that doesn't look consistent. That's something on the upper that I noticed straight away is all of that. Onto the back of the shoe here. Oh, we can see the different texture sort of, sort of, it goes like that and then it goes like that. So it's different sort of waves on each side. Okay, this is a very unique shoe. Anyways, on this denim sort of tongue here, we can see the graffiti Sean with a spoon. Actually, it says VA cross LA. That's quite strong, quite reasonable. That's all good. Now, the front of the shoe here, we can see the Air Max 1 sole there. And you can see the pattern sort of is a swirled pattern. It sort of goes like that, which I think is a really, really cool effect. I didn't actually notice that before. Moving on to the bottom of the shoe, it does look like a typical Air Max 1 sole. Now, the color scheme is very different, as we all know. All the colors look fairly consistent, very vibrant yellow there, blue, gray, and the pink. A little bit of the gray is sort of melting into the pink there, but otherwise, that's not too bad. The Nike mark there looks pretty good, and the air as well looks fairly consistent. It's not misspelled or anything. It looks pretty good. A bit more of the paint not sort of going all the way around. See how it sort of leaks into the blue and then comes back out. Once again, just picking on little details here. All right, the next thing I want to do is look at the insoles. So let's pull it out here. Oh, there's tissue paper in here. Sorry, my bad. And here is the insole. This is Sean's little happy face thingamajiggy with the Nike swoosh for his mouth. Looks pretty cool. The material for this feels very reminiscent of velvet. It feels really nice. From being bent, it sort of has markings here, but it's not too bad. On the bottom, we can actually see it says Ortholite, which make soles for Nike shoes, I believe, to provide extra comfort. And there's definitely some extra cushioning within this sole, so I assume that's going to be all good. And you can see the stitching. It's just sort of a bit random, but hey, it's going to hold. Inside of the shoe, we see the normal cross stitching patterns. Pretty consistent. Nothing out of the ordinary. All looks pretty good in there. Now, this material goes straight down to the Air Max sole, so that's pretty much all the cushioning there is the Air Max sole from that point on. On the tongue, what does it say? It says AJ4219400, which is the correct one that was on the box. I will have to make sure that that is the official code for these shoes. I'll put something here in editing. They are size 11, so they should fit me absolutely perfect. Doesn't say Nike Better World. Usually they sometimes say Nike Better World, sometimes they don't. Moving on to the other shoe now, let's see if there's any other changes. This upper here, these lines here are not 
that clean. Whereas the real deal, they're all very symmetrical. And as I said, they all just go like that. Whereas these, as you can see, there's just differences between the spacing and all that sort of stuff. Another little tag on here, not too sure what that says. Smiley face in there. And yeah, pretty much everything is mirrored from this shoe to this one. Everything looks pretty much identical. A little bit of paint leaking in there. The sole looks really clean to me. That looks really, really good. But the upper, I think there's a little bit of a miss there with some of the patterns. There are some little differences on the real deal where some of the little bits aren't sort of consistent, but this one shows how sort of inconsistent it is around here. Otherwise, look, everything else is pretty much there. Everything else looks pretty good. Another thing quickly before I do the on-foot segment is that the shoelace tips here are metal. Touch the end of the shoelaces. Uh, were they on the other ones? No, the other laces do not have the little metal tips at the end. So only the ones that are already pre-laced in the shoes, the yellow ones, have the metal tips on them. All right, that's enough of me rambling about these shoes for now. So I think we're going to jump onto the on-foot segment, give my final conclusion and thoughts about these shoes and call this a review. So I'll be back in a minute. So here are the kicks on foot. I can tell you that they are definitely true to size. These are size 11 US and they fit me perfect. With that Air Max 1 sole and the velvet-like insole, it all combines itself for an incredibly comfortable shoe, and then topping it off with the Air Max 97 cushioning gives it an all-out excellent shoe to wear. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you would get away with these, maybe, it's if you get up close you will see some of the details which to me are definitely different from the real deal. These may not be perfect replicas, however, I feel that they would hold up well over time. These shoes by Sean Witherspoon are a very unique shoe, something that I'm still questioning as to if I like or not. Alright, so that does it for the Sean Witherspoon Air Max 1 Cross 97 Hybrid shoes. When I first seen these shoes, I wasn't a really big fan of the colorway. I sort of like it, I sort of don't. It's very hard to choose, but I definitely like this as opposed to the OG Air Max 97 because of the Air Max sole. That's one thing that is very, very good. Extremely comfortable, as I've said. The only thing that I can point out that is possibly the worst thing about these is the uppers. That's all I can pretty much see. If you guys see anything else, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. But anyways, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, I will see you in the next video, which I'm hoping to keep up the consistency of shoes, but I might post some other little random things here and there on the channel. So let me know if you want to see that sort of stuff. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.